Uh, in this tutorial, we're going to review the Temi Meetings feature. It's a feature that allows you to perform multi-participants uh, video calls using uh, participants and a robot and to allow people in the meeting to control the robot in certain situations and also to uh, view the robot together uh, during a video call. So the Temi Meetings is in Temi Center. You control it through this tab on the left here called Temi Meetings. Uh, as you can see, this is the main screen. First of all, I will choose a robot that will be the robot that will participate in the meeting that I want to make. So I'm choosing this robot called Temi Office, which is the robot here in my office. And here you will see uh, two options. One is to make a meeting uh, right now, and the other is to schedule a meeting. Let's start with the scheduling option. So I'm clicking schedule a meeting, and then I have two, two main options here. One is a hosted meeting, and one is a guest meeting. So guest meeting is basically to create a meeting that anyone uh, can join. There, there, it doesn't have to be hosted by one host that will allow participants to join this meeting. It creates a link that anyone that I send it to can just join this meeting whenever uh, the link is available and uh, participate in this meeting together. So let's make one for, uh, for the example right now. I will call this test guest meeting. Here I can choose the, when this meeting will be available. I can either choose a specific time frame, a date frame and time, or I can choose that it will always be on uh, until I uh, choose to, to delete this meeting. I can uh, choose the duration of the meeting from five minutes to 180 minutes. Uh, this means that if I choose five minutes, then after five minutes, the meeting will automatically end. Uh, if I want the meeting to be limited. Uh, and how many times this meeting will occur. So unlimited means that every time uh, someone clicks the link, it will, they can join again and again for unlimited times. And one time means that this meeting will occur one time and then the link won't be uh, accessible anymore. Permissions, I can choose what kind of permissions the guests in this meeting will have, if they can drive the robot, if they can uh, uh, control the screen, uh, if they can add notes or, or, or uh, go to locations in the navigation feature uh, using the robot. And if I chose to give them locations permissions, I can even choose if to give them access to, to choose any of the locations or specific locations that the robot has. Uh, I, here I can also choose a passcode if I want this meeting to be uh, uh, locked by a passcode or without a passcode. And then I create this meeting. Okay, and I immediately get a link where I can just copy and share to anyone, even people who are not uh, Temi Center members or don't have the Temi, Temi mobile app, can just click this link in their uh, uh, web browser and immediately join the meeting while other participants and the robot I chose will already be there. Now let's look at the hosted meeting. So hosted meeting is a meeting where I, the host, must be in the meeting to allow participants to join. Let's call it test hosted meeting. Now again, I can choose if this meeting will be available in a certain time frame or always. Let's choose this time frame that, that's already given here for this example and create this meeting. And again, I can uh, use this link and share it with anyone that I want to join this meeting while I will have to admit them into the meeting. And I can also see here the up upcoming meetings that I have scheduled. So this one, for example, the hosted meeting that I've scheduled, I can manage it, delete it, edit it whenever I want. Now we look at the option to uh, have a new meeting. So first of all, every uh, user, uh, Temi user, has their own private link that is always uh, the same, it doesn't change. So if I choose to copy this link and share it to any people that I would like to join my meetings or have it in my uh, calendar, for example, it will always be the same link and they will join my hosted meeting that, I will, that, it, that will be started. 
Um, so here I can either share the meeting or copy the link, or I can immediately start a meeting right now. So here, let's do it. So I'm starting the meeting, basically having a video calling to the robot here in my office. I am muting this robot, sorry, since it's, uh, since it's here next to me, so we won't hear it. So now you can see basically that I called into the meeting. Uh, I can either invite guests or be here by myself, but for this example, let's invite a guest. Uh, I can either use this button here to invite guests or go to here and invite more guests. So I have a few options to invite a guest. I can either copy the link and send it to someone, let's say Ben that is right here next to me, or I can click invite and any one of the contacts that I have in my account or sync with my phone, I can just invite to this meeting without a problem. So let's say Ben, if I add Ben, and click his name and invite Ben, we will immediately call Ben and have him join us in this meeting. So you see Ben is already here waiting in the waiting room. I can either admit all or go into the waiting room and admit Ben to this meeting and he will join us. Okay, so here you can see Ben is with us and basically uh, uh, with, I can control the robot. Ben currently can't control the robot because I didn't give him the permissions to do it. Uh, let's go a bit over the controls of uh, the permissions, first of all. So here I, you can see that I can change the host, I can have Ben uh, become the host of the meeting, uh, the sharing and invitation uh, buttons for this meeting. Uh, I can uh, choose Ben, I can choose to mute all the participants or unmute them or, te or uh, turn the video on and off. I can choose to allow the participants to control the robot and see have these uh, controls that you see here and the locations. Currently, Ben won't see these uh, controls, but if I go into these uh, permissions and do control all, uh, uh, allow all to control, now Ben can also, from his phone, uh, control the robot as well as me in this meeting, as you can see. Uh, a bit about the controls, so the controls are the standard the controls that you know from Temi. You can use the arrows to, to uh, look and go left and right, okay? And of course, everywhere I click on the screen with my uh, mouse cursor, it will Temi, the robot will look at this point. So if I'm clicking at the Temi logo right now, Temi will look at the Temi logo. I can use also the arrows on my keyboard to control Temi, just like a joystick. And I can choose to go to locations around the, the place that are uh, already saved. So if I choose to go to the sofa, then we'll go to the sofa. And basically we are here, can be uh, multi-participants looking at this robot together. So these are the controls. Of course, I can always open the map and look, in, look at the TV center. I can, in these buttons down here, I can also choose to see it in a gallery view. So when you have multi-participants, this is very convenient to see everyone and uh, get out of gallery view. Here I can also control uh, uh, share a screen. So if I want to share a presentation or share my screen, this is the button that I will use to do that. Here on the top left, I can choose if I want to see the speaker view. So whenever someone speaks, uh, the main picture will change, then you can say something and, and, and the main uh, picture will see Ben. Can you hear me now? Yes. All right. So here, so here you will see Ben or anyone else who will be speaking at, in the speaker view. Um, on the top here, So if I go into the robot view, on the top right here, 
So I can control the mute and unmute of the robot. Right now the robot is muted because I don't want to hear myself in this tutorial. But if I unmute it, you will see immediately there is an echo because the robot will hear my voice. I can choose to turn the robot's video on and off so you can see or not see what the robot is showing and control the volume of the robot, which means how loud people will hear me and the call on the robot itself. Also on the robot itself, you will see the same kind of view and all the participants and the, that are, speak, that are uh, taking part in this uh, meeting. I can choose to trigger a follow mode. So, so if uh, someone, yeah, Ben left the meeting, but if someone uh, stands in front of the robot, I can trigger follow mode and uh, the robot will immediately start following the person in front of it. So right now it's following Ben, and then I can easily uh, stop the follow mode whenever I want. Uh, I can control the robot's screen, so if I click uh, control screen, I see what is on the screen on the robot and I can control it. And stop it when needed. Uh, I, this is the low light mode in cases of dark places, the light will uh, become uh, lighter. And of course, add notes to this call if I want in the memo uh, for the notes to, to say something about this call. So mainly this is the TEMI uh, meetings feature and we can have uh, uh, as many participants uh, as we can and do a, a multi-participant meeting with a robot included. I can also uh, uh, transfer the host to another participant if I need to leave. And uh, of course, always minimize the screen and look at the tennis center and map and control the rest of the system while I'm in this call, as we know. And don't forget that you can also use these links and these meetings without any login to Temi Center or with the mobile app. So you have the Temi Center, the Temi mobile app, and any web browser just with the link that you can join and use these meetings anytime. Enjoy.